In this video, we will look at taxation, specifically um, personal income tax because they're different types and know that we pay tax to SARS, which is South African Revenue Service. And also know that we are only going to be doing number one up to seven in this video. The calculations we're going to do in the video of part two or the calculation video. Okay, so let's go through all the theory. So we start with what is personal income tax? It's basically tax that you pay based on your income. So note that you get different types of taxes, you know, you get VAT and you get um, businesses get, have their own type of tax that they have to pay. And now there's also the tax that you pay yourself. Okay, so if you get a um, salary, then that's the first way in which you pay. Or also, let's say you're very clever and you invest money, but you get interest, you're gonna have to pay tax on that. And also, if you have properties that you're renting them out and the tenants pay your rent, you're also gonna have to pay tax on that. So all of this combined gives you a yearly income. Right, then we also need to know the difference between gross and net salary. So let's look at gross salary. Basically, this is your salary before deductions. Now what that means is, um, typically when you get a job, uh, they say they promise you know you'll get like 50,000 rand and they write that down in your contract and everything and you freak out because this looks like a good number however now there's a bunch of deductions that come like UIF pension fund etc etc and then you take home less let's say you take home for example 42,715 this is called your net salary, which is your salary then after deductions. Okay, so now on the salary, you're going to have to pay tax. Let's see what then is our taxable income. You need to also know the difference between the two. So the taxable income, this is income like, for example, your salary that we said, and you're going to have to pay tax on that amount. But you also get something that is called non-taxable income. This is where you get money in, but you don't have to pay tax on that. Now, if you want to determine your taxable income, you're going to say your gross salary. This is just a formula that you can write down. It's your gross salary minus your taxable deductions. So after you've subtracted everything that has to go, um, all your deductions, that you also have to pay tax on, then you get your taxable income. All right. Now let's look at this deduction thing that we've been talking about. This is when they subtract money from your salary. Okay, deduct means to subtract or minus money from your salary. Now there are two types of deductions. First one is a taxable one, which means you're gonna have to pay tax on these deductions as well. And examples of this include, like we've already said, your pension fund, but only up to a certain point, which is 7.5% max. Okay, 7.5% max of your gross salary you'll pay, um, can go to your pension, that, that can be taxed. Then UIF, we will talk about that later as well, but that is also a taxable deduction. So they're gonna subtract that from your salary and also you're gonna pay tax on that. Then on the other side, we have um, non-taxable deductions, which just the name says it all. It is basically, you don't have to pay tax on that. No tax. Okay. So here, for example, let's say money gets um, deducted from your salary to pay for your child's school fees or um, loan payments, basically any type of payment that you make EFT or it's just deducted from your salary. Um, medical aid is also non-taxable and finally donations so let's say you make donations to charities or registered charities unregistered uh, companies then you may not pay tax on that right now we get to the actual tax calculations in this example or in this um, table we're looking at tax brackets now what a tax bracket is is just where you fit in I'm going to try and explain this in a very basic um, very basic way. Let's say you get 
50,000 rand annually that is now your taxable income remember we did this previously where we said it's your gross salary minus your deductions okay so after we've done that let's say it's maybe 50,000 now and you multiply that by 12 and you get 600,000 because you want the yearly amount or your annual amount not your monthly one okay okay so this is an annual amount annually right now you have to pay tax on this amount you will not take home that you will have to still pay tax so how much tax are you going to pay then you go and look at your tax bracket this guy tells you where do you fit in so let's go and look for a 600,000 rand amount you'll see it's not number one not two not three oh four there we go tax bracket number four says that 600,000 will be between that between 460 and 613,000 Okay, cool. So you fall in this category. Then there's a formula here that you use. So let's work it out. In our example, there's a set amount. That's always the first one. It's just set. You can't change that. And it's different for each bracket. Okay. So let's use that amount. We're going to say 110,739 plus. Then it says 36%. Okay, 36 over 100 of, which is times, taxable income. Let's say we... Um, worked out our taxable income is 600,000 and it's above 467,500 so now this guy I still need to subtract that 467,500 because I want the amount above that okay now you can just put that all in your calculator and you will get 158,000 439 now remember this is annually or yearly so if you go and divide that by 12 you'll get the amount of tax you pay monthly more or less because there's still one or two things that we have to deduct from that okay but just in general if you want to know how much tax you're going to pay on the salary you earn you go to the SARS website and they give you a tax bracket you go and see where you fit in and you just use that formula right then there's also such a thing as um, tax thresholds now a tax threshold is basically the minimum annual amount that you have to earn um, before you have to pay tax so basically let's go and see this is once again an annual amount we will fall under 65 if you're not older than that and you start working. Now you need to earn 91,250 Rand or more before you pay tax. Ne? This is an annual amount. So if you divide that by 12, you get something like 7,000, is it 604 a month before you have to pay tax. All right. Then there's also such a thing as tax rebates. Now, a rebate also in very basic language is just saying that after tax is calculated right so after your tax is calculated so we determined our amount here in blue after that there's still gonna be a little amount that the government pays for you on your behalf so it's like a subsidy and it's there for everyone just to help you so that you don't have to pay so much tax once again this is an annual amount and let's look here at the differences you get a primary one a secondary one and a tertiary one okay now let's say you are um, under 65 then the amount of the subsidy that, that they will give you is 16,425 once again an annual amount right a yearly one okay then if you are between 65 and 74 you now um, qualify for a primary and a secondary rebate wow so it's the 16,425 one plus the 9,000 rand one so I'm just looking at 2023 for now and then let's say if you're over 75 so 75 plus you cal uh, you qualify for the primary one which is 16,425 and the secondary 9,000 rand one and the um, tertiary one which is 2997 once again what do they do with your um, tax rebate 
this is very important they deduct this from your um, calculated tax so they deduct that so that you don't have to pay rebates we like rebates okay then you get such things medical aid now the government provides free medical aid but if you decide you want to go to private hospitals or pay for that um, medical assistance that you get then this is also subtracted from your tax so that's also a good thing for you now look at this table here that shows you the tax credit rates and so forth so you can get credit which means um, after uh, SARS has calculated your tax so at the end after tax is calculated you can get some extra money um, or it's just subtracted from your tax so you have to pay less so that's why they call it a credit now let's say you are just one person a taxpayer then you'll get 347 rand or let's say you two people now taxpayer and a dependent then they get 694 rand that they deduct from tax for each individual dependent it's 234 rand. so it's not a lot um, so this would be maybe per child or however many people you have on your medical aid so you'll get that money um, subtracted from your tax and then we also have UIF and UIF is basically um, unemployment insurance fund okay now we should know that from grade 11 12 okay what happens here is they work out 1% of your salary your gross salary and this amount is then a um, taxable deduction so they also subtract this from your salary and you pay tax on that all right now this is the end of our video in our next videos we're going to look at how to calculate personal income tax and take home pay so don't miss that and also share like subscribe and become part of the whiteboard is a team